Everything you love about the Wendy Show is now available first only at wendyshow.com. The latest hot topics, celebrity interviews, Ask Wendy, and behind the scenes videos of me and my guests. Hours of video for you. See it first and see it all now only at the new wendyshow.com. Please welcome Yolanda Hadid. <laughs> I want to give you shoe cam. I put your feet on ah. those feet and then look in the um, monitor and model them. Uh-huh. Yolanda. Good. Hi, how are you? I brought you a healing crystal from Mount Chesta. Oh. And by the way, your eyes are beautiful. Thank you. Please keep it on your table close to you. It's for healing. Thank you, for healing. So, yes. Thank you, how thoughtful. <laughs> so. First of all, you're really beautiful. Oh, thank you. thank you. I mean, the whole less is more thing, you know? Like you push your hair back, mm -hmm. there's no extensions. No, no more, no you, more artificial stuff for me. Yeah. <laughs> I've learned my lesson with that. <laughs> Yolanda uh, turns 54 on Thursday. This is what 54 looks like. Happy <laughs> birthday in advance. Thank you, thank you. What are you gonna do? I'm going to, you know, I, I've obviously come out of a seven year, very bad cycle and I haven't really celebrated my birthday. So I'm having all my best friends and I'm celebrating the show because it's the premiere of the show is the same night as my birthday. Perfect. Oh. So it's a double party. Perfect. Yeah. So, you know, Yolanda has been uh, battling Lyme disease for a long time. Yeah, seven years. How do you feel now? I feel amazing. I mean, I'm in remission, <laughs> finally. But you know, obviously it was, a, it was a tough road. How did you find out you had Lyme disease? You know, first I, for maybe a year, a year and a half, I was just kind of thinking, oh, I'm tired, I have the flu, I have this, I was such a tough cookie and I would just work my way through it. Yeah. Saw all the best doctors in the world, all the best hospitals in LA first. And they said, oh, you have chronic fatigue. And I'm like, no, I have a back I have something is eating my brain. I can't think anymore. I mean, I forgot the alphabet. I forgot how to read a book. I couldn't write TV. I could do nothing. And they said, no, no, your brain is fine. And I'm like, no, because every three weeks I have circles under my eyes. I was in this strange kind of a cycle that yeah. I, as a health freak uh. and health conscious woman, mm. I knew something was wrong. So I ended up going to Belgium, finding a specialist in, in Lyme disease. He tested me. I went there in a wheelchair. And six weeks later, I found out that, had, that I had uh, chronic neurological Lyme disease. And one of your daughters has it as well. Bella has it, and my son Anwar has it as well, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so Lisa Renna, yes. when you were on the show, <laughs> you, you recall that she thought that you were faking your Lyme yeah. disease for attention. Yeah. yeah. You know what, who wants to have attention? I mean, I was on the show for what, four or five years. Who wants attention for that long? You know, I wanted <laughs> attention for being out, having, you know, selling a line of clothing or something exciting. Yet yeah. I was in bed for all those years and just, you know, struggling to make it to work every day. Did you curse her out behind the scenes? No, <laughs> not really, because you know, I was just fighting for my life. And I was living such an isolated life, trying to stay alive that I remember when she used the word Munchausen, I didn't even know what that meant. I had to look it up on the, you know, the I had the Googling uh -huh. and, and I like, what does that mean? And it shocked me for a moment. And then I just had to put it aside and say, you know, it's ignorance. People judge the things that they don't know. And I live in Somebody a very- place like they're sick for attention. Yeah. Like, and I was already started to be very spiritual and live in a much higher consciousness than all that was, what was going on in the outside world. And, you know, and, and the full cycle is, of it is that eventually, you know, she read the book and about maybe two, three months ago, she wrote me the most beautiful apology letter <sighs> asking for forgiveness. Aww. And I said, honey, I've moved on many years ago yeah. and, you know, Thank you for actually acknowledging your mistakes and the more power to you. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> so, you live in Pennsylvania now on a farm? Where? Is that, <laughs> I live on a farm, let's keep it there. Okay, 
Um, <laughs> yes, but, I, I live on a farm and yeah. uh, it's a beautiful 32 acre farm where I have chickens and goats and cows wow. and horses and I have my own vegetable garden. I live a very, you know, natural, organic life. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, I kind of went back to my roots. I mean, that's where I came from in mm -hmm. Holland. That's how I started. And I guess I went all, uh, all around the world and I'm back to where I started. Are, <laughs> are your girls super competitive with one another? Like if, if one gets an ad, no, is the you other know, one pissed? No, you know, that's the first thing you teach your daughters mm -hmm. is like, first of all, and I said that on the show many times, life is not a competition. It's about you being your personal best. You know what I mean? There is no competition. Like when Bella, somebody that's looking for an exotic look like Bella, they're not gonna book Gigi. If they're looking for the all American girl like Gigi, they're not gonna book Bella. So there is no competition there. And you know. <laughs> and where does Anwar fit into the whole situation? How old is he? What Anwar is 18 mm -hmm. and he really doesn't want anything to do with the spot, the limelight. <laughs> yeah. He's just, he's a complete crystal child. He's extremely spiritual. He mm. wants to heal the world and bring love and you know, he's completely. <laughs> So your daughters are close with uh, the Kardashian girls, I hear. Yes. Um, are you friends with Chris? Um, we're friendly, but not friends. Who gets the better table at the restaurant? You or her? Her. Why? Because she's Chris. <laughs> and I'm just Yo Joe Smo from Holland. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, you've done it. You know, I don't really go out. I live a very private life. I really don't go out that much. And I'm very far away from LA and that whole scene. And you know, I'm happy that way. Yeah. So. So, you know, Gigi, her daughter, is dating Zayn Malik. <laughs> Let's find out what they did for the holidays. What'd they do? We, uh, we built gingerbread houses, we knitted sweaters, we sat in front of the fire, cooked dinner, had a glass of wine, and talked. And who all was there? Just the kids and I. Hmm. And Zane, yeah. And Zane. You know, we, when you have such a public life and people are always, you know, it, it's such a nice time to just reconnect and, and be yeah. alone and not have to be smiling or put makeup. They were all in their big socks and wool sweaters yeah. knitting in front of the fireplace. And that's what we love to do. Knitting. I mean, that's, <laughs> you know, it's a very Dutch thing. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you dating? <laughs> Just you know what, girl. I've been single for two and a half years, yeah. or almost two and a half years, and you know, I needed to take that time for me to heal and to step into my own power as a single woman. And you know, it was great, but I just met an amazing man, and I'm very much in love. So, <laughs> yeah. Is he younger than us? He's actually younger than me, two months, or three months. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. Is he in the business? No, he's a, he's a very private person. He's a businessman, and that's just the way I like it. You know, I made a spiral, a love spiral, about a month ago or two months ago, and I wrote exactly what I wanted because after two years, two and a half years being single, you have a lot of time to think, you know? <laughs> so I was like, what do I really want in a man? Like, so I wrote it exactly down. Like, what are the qualities that I really feel that I need in yeah. that other person? And he magically appeared. He rang the doorbell at the farm, and here he is. Wow. wow. <laughs> See? <laughs> so, Yolanda has a new show. It's called Making a Model, which I think is perfect for you. Yes. You are a former model. Yes. You've raised two girls that are yes. world-class models, and who knows better about modeling than a model herself? Yeah. Yeah. So, what's the concept of the show? Well, the concept, it's not like any other model show. You know, I really wanted to work on the mother-daughter relationship because I think that is so important. And, you know, in this show, it's, nobody's get sent home. It's not a competition that way. Everybody stays throughout the whole show uh, for the so two is months. Is anybody mean? Yeah, they're mean. You know, the moms get into some stuff. And, Good. You know, stuff happens. Yeah, that's life. Yeah. But that happens in the real world, too. So mm -hmm. it's part of life. And so, you know, they sleep in bunk beds for two months. Mm -hmm. Mother, daughter, mother, daughter, mother, daughter, different oh. rooms. Oh. And, you know, stuff goes down. But 
You know, in today's world where we lose the connection to our own family really because of phones, social media, mm -hmm. everything is out, texting, sexting, whatever it is that they all do. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's really important to go back to basics and to really work things out with your own mom. I like it. You I know? like the whole concept of the show. It was really nice to meet you. It was nice to You're meet you. You're lovely yeah. and happy yeah. birthday again. Yeah. Thank you. Making a Model premieres Thursday at 10 o'clock on Lifetime.